microbial diversity does affect clinical practice, uh, although it's only becoming known at this stage, but clinicians have long known that if you take antibiotics and you disturb the bacteria, for example, in the mouth, one is at risk of getting candida. That's a fungal infection. Clinicians have long known that if you take antibiotics in some people, such as the elderly, they're prone to get an overgrowth of, of a pathogen, such as Clostridium difficile, which can be life-threatening. So clinicians have known that for a long time. What they haven't known until recently is that this loss of diversity is relevant to elderly health, frailty, and inflammation in general. So there's it, it less severe degrees of loss of biodiversity are clinically very important. Well, one way to intervene and try and improve diversity in the gut would be to take a probiotic or a combination of probiotics. Another way, of course, would be, which is simpler, which would be to diversify your diet. Because when we eat, we're not just feeding ourselves, we're feeding our microbes. And if we consume a broad diversity, a little bit of everything, then it's likely that uh, a little bit of everything in the gut will flourish and do well. Whereas if we restrict our diet, we'll get a very monotonous kind of reduced diversity of microbes in the gut. So diversity of diet is a staple. It's not just a luxury.